Hi, I'm Robert from Gold Point Props. For this video, I'll be making the Kylo Ren helmet from Star Wars The Force Awakens. This was the most difficult helmet I made yet. Enjoy. I started by marking the shape out on 18 gauge sheet metal. After cutting the dome out, I used a hammer to shape it. Then I used the English wheel to smooth the piece out. Now I'm welding on temporary tabs to hold the two halves together. Now that I got the two halves temporary tacked together, I used a cutoff wheel on the Dremel to smooth out the lines. This line will make up the detail on the side of the helmet. Next, I shaped a filler piece that I attached on the inside of the helmet. Now that I got the filler piece welded into place, I cut away the temporary tab. Now I'm moving on to the flare part of the helmet. Now that the two halves are formed, I welded them together and ground them. Next I welded the flare on to the inside of the helmet. Now I'm moving on to the visor. I used a cylinder to rule it and a hammer and shrinker to shape it. Next I used a scribe to scribe the four lines across the visor. These pieces will make up the cheek section of the helmet. I used a hammer and the English wheel to shape them. Next, I tack welded the cheek pieces into place. Mm -hmm. 
Now that I got the front half of the helmet done, I started cutting out the detail. This will make up the chrome part of the helmet. Now I have one last strip to weld into place. Next I move it on to the rest of the mask pieces. This will be one of the pieces that makes up the center of the mask. I then used a Dremel to cut out the details. I now welded on filler plates on the back side of the detail. I now welded the center piece to the rest of the mask. Now I'm moving on to the outer center piece of the mask. I then added the detail and damage on the outer part of the mask.
Now I'm welding studs on the outer part of the mask. I then cut out the center of the inside piece to cut down on the weight. Using the studs I welded on earlier, I welded the two halves together. These will make up the last detail pieces of the helmet. With them welded into place, the fabrication process is finished. For the chrome part of the mask, I used the powder coat process. Then I painted the rest of the helmet with an automotive satin black. Now the helmet is finished. If you have any suggestions of what you would like to see me build next, leave them in the comments below.